I feel like the future leader because then you're going to inspire other people, including your younger self, to believe in who they are too and their roles. I think I would say to my younger self, just take every opportunity that comes across your plate because you never know where it's going to take you um, and you never know how much fun you're going to have doing it as well. Wow, both great comments and I think that continues to uh, look at the leaders in our community and our region and reaching out to them. So I think that's something I probably would have told my younger self was to reach out to these other women and men leaders in the community and um, having those conversations about how they got to where they're at and uh, what advice and suggestions they give me moving forward. So mine is a little different approach. Uh, I am by nature a very quiet and shy person. So to be a leader, I had to push myself. I had to be a little bit like, I can speak in front of more than five people at one time. Now I can speak to over a thousand people when I welcome conventions to town. So it's a growth, it's an evolution, and you can't do it all in one day. And so I think that's what I would, if I was looking back, I felt like I needed to do everything in one day. And it's a process, and it's an evolution, and it's as you build confidence, you build strength, and that's how you become a leader, by building that up. And so that's where I would tell my younger self. <laughs> when I came to the Manufacturing Council, we were kind of in a state of transition. And so I was always kind of panicked or worried about, am I gonna do, the job that needs to be done or what exactly needs to be done here and I think I would go back and just say relax it's going to come to you you'll figure out what needs to be done and handle it you know I don't think we all have to panic or, or, or be following the footsteps of the person that maybe had the job in front of us I think um, just be who you are and, and that's how I've made it work so I go back and just say calm your hands <laughs> Yeah, a lot of that, of calm your hands. Um, so my background is nursing, and coming up through nursing was a wonderful journey for me, and I learned so much along the way. So I think for me, I would say to my younger self, just trust the journey and have faith. You know, God has that plan for you, and you don't always understand what the plan is when you're standing on the edge of the precipice, and you're looking in, and you're going, oh my God. Um, but then you take that next step and then you look back and you see all those stepping stones that brought you to where you are. So just trust in that journey and, and you can do it. Yeah. So you know what, 